quick introductions and tell you what's going on tonight. Hi everyone, we'll introduce our guest speaker in a minute, but I'm Marsha McInnes. I'm a former technology teacher and we are very pleased to have this special guest today. Uh, first, I'll get my colleague Sam go back to you if you can introduce yourself. Sure, uh, for those of you that are joining us and don't know who I am, I am Sam Hall. I am the content and product marketing manager at ClassTag. Um, up until about three weeks ago, I was a full-time teacher, so I, I feel what you guys are going through. Uh, did it full-time virtually and in the classroom for, for about five years, so I understand the pain that we're going through. We're here to help you guys. Yeah, and just a little background for any of you who are new to ClassTag. ClassTag is a free parent-teacher communication platform. We are a Google for Education partner. And I work on partnerships for ClassTag. It was really important for us to reach out to other ed education companies and find out how we can help teachers prepare for back to school. And so one of the key companies we wanted to connect with was Quizlet. And we have Chad here from Quizlet. He speaks all over the country and actually uh, often other parts of the world about Quizlet and, and helps teachers prepare to use the tool. And Chad, I'll let you introduce Quizlet. Hey everyone, thank you so much for joining. Uh, my name is Chad, as Marsha had said. I am on the marketing team at Quizlet and I work specifically with teachers and I'm also a former high school English teacher myself. I was in the classroom uh, for six years before transitioning to ed tech to really you know, champion the teacher. And so today um, I was hoping to share a little bit about what Quizlet is and how teachers can use that in their classroom this fall and beyond. Brilliant. So Chad's going to get started in a second, but we are super lucky he started off. We were chatting a few minutes before we went live, and he's given all of you who are attending this session today a free access for three months to the teacher version of Quizlet. Uh, there is, of course, always a, a free version of Quizlet, but the teacher pro version, he will get into what all the details of that looks like later today. Awesome. Well, thank you so much. Take it, take it from here. Um, I know you've got some some great stuff prepared for everyone. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, Marsha and Sam. So I'm going to share my screen. I made a little presentation for everyone to do a walkthrough of Quizlet. And uh, I'm so excited to see all the chats, come, the comments coming in. I see people from Brazil, New Jersey. That's exciting. Um, so I want to talk with everyone about Quizlet as a learning tool. And this is really for teachers who really aren't familiar with Quizlet, or maybe you've started using Quizlet and haven't necessarily done more with it than explored it. And hopefully uh, you leave this presentation with some ideas and some inspiration. So an overview of what I'm going to share is what is Quizlet? How is Quizlet used on the student side and the teacher side? our various study modes, um, Quizlet Live, resources for teachers, and then save some time for questions and also um, point you in the right direction for where you can get your questions answered with Quizlet. So um, again, my name is Chad Myros. I'm the marketing manager for teachers at Quizlet. I did got my master's in education in Stanford 2012 and I taught high school for six years. I transitioned to ed tech work at Coursera and Facebook back in 2017. Uh, and that's a picture of me with two teachers at ISTE in 2019 in Philadelphia back when um, we could travel. So uh, like Marcia said, I've been out there supporting teachers uh, for the last year and a half with Quizlet. And so now I want to focus on what exactly is Quizlet. So Quizlet is a study tool that helps students become their most unstoppable self. In fact, 90% of students who use Quizlet report higher grades. And so Quizlet uses flashcards and various study tools, such as games, that make it easy for students to conquer any academic challenge. Quizlet breaks down topics and subjects into learnable chunks to help students accomplish something new every step of the way. Teachers use Quizlet to help students confidently learn anything, no matter what they're striving to achieve. Using Quizlet's free study set, study modes, and in-class game, which is Quizlet Live, which we're going to play at the end of this presentation if you stick around, teachers instantly create a more engaged classroom, whether virtually or in person. And so students study by creating uh, or finding a study set in Quizlet and choosing a study mode to begin review. And the various study modes that Quizlet offers students are learn, flashcards, write, spell, test, 
match in gravity. And you can see on the side a little infographic of kind of what the different study modes do for students. So learn, flashcards, write, spell, and test are independent study activities with an adaptive study plan. Um, and we have tests that allow practice tests, right? So if students want to study for a vocab test tomorrow um, and they're using a study set and they're looking through it, they can take an actual sample test that will give them various versions of the different study modes, flashcards, write, spell, multiple choice, true and false in a practice test fashion. And then we also have two timed games with the group leaderboard, Match and Gravity, that helps students uh, practice and study whatever they want to learn. And if you think of match, you pretty much get a term and definition and you try to match them as quickly as possible. Uh, and teachers use it to have students kind of compete with each other and reward students on leaderboards. And then likewise with gravity, it's kind of like the old traditional PC game asteroids where an asteroid is falling and you have to protect the earth by answering correctly. So that's kind of the different study modes that we offer students. And you probably heard me mention a Quizlet study set and you're wondering, what is that? And so in this diagram here, this is an example of a study set for French vocabulary. So each term has its own definition. And then when you flip the screen or you flip the card, you can also add Im images or diagrams to study sets so that students have visuals for the material. So if you look on this little side screen there, you can see that it's French animals. You can see dolphin with an image of it. If you were to click that, it would flip over and give you the French equivalent. And I don't speak French, so I apologize for the accent, but you would see Delphine on the side. Um, I speak Spanish, so I apologize if that was not the correct uh, accent there. Delphine, c'était correct. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I, yeah, I, uh, I do not have a good French accent. So, um, but teachers can also save time by using existing studying sets. So teachers can save time by searching for existing content created by other teachers and students to share with their students or play Quizlet. So when you log into Quizlet and you create an account, you can search for subject uh, study sets by subject, keywords, book title, and you can filter by sets, diagrams, classes, users, if it has images or if it was teacher created. Um, and that's if you don't wanna take the time to create your own study sets for your students. And so what are the study modes? And I had mentioned that earlier. Quizlet use offers several different learning activities that students can use based on what works for them. And then you saw this infographic a little earlier in the presentation and I highlighted learn, flashcards, write, spell, and test. And if we have time at the end, um, I'll check in with Marsha, maybe we can walk through, I can show you what that looks like in the product, but I wanna be conscious of every teacher's time and also allow teachers um, you know, to explore on their own and if they have questions, come back with it. So these are the different study modes with Quizlet. Learn, flashcards, write, spell, test, match, and gravity. And so for teachers specifically, all of you, teachers use Quizlet in innovative ways. So what you wanna first do is sign up with Quizlet as a teacher. And if you use the code that will be shared with you Shortly, uh, also Classic has a code and they'll be able to share with you as well. You can sign up for a paid Quizlet teacher account. So as Marsha mentioned earlier, we have a free Quizlet teacher account and we also have a paid teacher account that has uh, more features that we can talk about shortly. And so um, sign up with Quizlet teacher. You have to choose the option between free or paid teacher account. With that promo code, you'll get a paid teacher account for free for three months. And you can create content for students to study, organize your content across classes and subjects. You can engage students and help them review with Quizlet Live. And then with the paid version of Quizlet Teacher, you also get access to multiple choice questions that you can add to your study sets, class progress. You can check in and see what study sets your students are um, studying, how well they're doing, what study modes they're doing, you know, that sort of thing. Um, and you also get access to rich text. So you get you can highlight and color code and bold and italicize and add audio to your study sets. So audio recordings of you speaking, uh, you know, if you're teaching a foreign language or if you want to help students with accessibility. And so the special offer, the quiz of teacher for free for three months, um, this will be shared at a later time. But if you don't have a Quizlet account and you want to sign up, you can go to quizlet.com slash promo slash class tag Quizlet 2020. Um, and this link will be shared out, I believe, shortly. I, I just saw it drop in the chat. So once you click that, you'll be able to redeem your free three months of paid Quizlet teacher. At the end of the three months, you'll still have a Quizlet account. It won't delete that, it won't remove you, 
But um, if you want to continue with the paid features, uh, you will have to purchase that. Otherwise, you'll just have a free Quizlet teacher account, which again, in the last slide, doesn't have as it doesn't have the um, options to do class progress um, and multiple choice questions. So I can point that out later on in the presentation on the Quizlet website. And so beyond that, I also want to give teachers um, resources. And so I want you to be able to check out the Quizlet blog. It's just quizlet.com slash blog. Uh, you can read the blog to learn tips and tricks for classroom from other teachers, follow stories about remote teaching, celebrate student success stories, and get updates from us here at Quizlet. And we actually have a pretty exciting update for teachers that I can't talk too much about today. But if you check out our blog on Monday, August 31st, um, starting then up until about Wednesday, September 2nd, um, we have an exciting announcement for teachers. So please be sure to uh, check that out. We also have a whole entire section of our website dedicated to remote learning resources. Um, just go to quizlet.com slash features slash remote dash learning dash 2020. And also when you sign up for Quizlet Teacher in your homepage, you'll have a link that leads you directly to this. So you'll be able to check that out for YouTube tutorials, content resources for getting started, and then also ideas for Quizlet in the remote classroom. And lastly, be sure to follow us on our social accounts. Um, on Twitter and Instagram, just look us up at Quizlet. YouTube, find us, just look at the site. And when you go into the search bar, put in um, Quizlet YouTube channel and it'll pop up. Find us on LinkedIn and also, I believe we're attached to this on uh, Facebook. So just click that, follow our page there. And that's us on social. And so what I mentioned earlier about a game and giving a little bit of a demo to everyone, um, I kind of want to explain what Quizlet Live is and then we'll do a quick demo and everyone on this uh, webinar can join in and play with us if you have a mobile or laptop devices. So um, Quizlet Live is a fall must have. It's a collaborative classroom game. Teachers choose a study set they wish to review with their students, launch a game of Quizlet Live, a join code will be shareable with your class. Students are assigned teams and given a generated team name. Teams sit together and race against other teams to win. One person on the team has the right answer. So the separated teams need to work together to figure out who has the right answer. Um, and students learn how to do better each time. It gives progress reports on here's what was right, here was what's wrong, here's what most people got right, here's what most students got wrong. And so what we've now enabled for teachers with the virtual classroom and remote learning is uh, individuals. So students can now play individually and over Zoom, Microsoft Teams, or whatever online webinar program you're using. Same concept, fastest to all the correct answers wins. Um, and you're given a team name just like if you're playing in teams. And this allows students to, you know, really try hard and even guess if they're wrong without the social shaming of, you know, seeing their name on the board, getting it wrong, or how many they're getting right and not moving forward. And so the benefits of Quiz Alive is it incentivizes students at the end of a unit, chapter, or lesson to review. It builds the soft skills of collaboration. Um, engages students and creates a fun interactive classroom and also creates a community even while outside of the classroom. And we all know that, you know, students learn when they feel part of a community, and, you know, and uh, in this time of being remote and individuals, it's, you know, the sense of community and education is really suffering right now. And so you can see right here some shout outs from teachers that have played Quizlets live individually. Um, and uh, remotely. And so one of them, I love the individual version of Quizlet Live. The randomly assigned animal names allow students to practice their understanding anonymously. My students absolutely love it. Uh, thank you, Quizlet. The Quizlet Live individual mode is always a winner during synchronous sessions in Spanish 1. Um, and so teachers have been playing with this and loving it so far over the summer and in the fall. And so I figured we would play a round of Quizlet Live. And so to do that, I'm going to go into my Quizlet account um, and show you what that looks like. If you log into Quizlet, here is what the homepage will look like. And as you can see right here at the bottom, it says teaching remotely, and that'll give you access to all those resources. So for this round of Quizlet Live, um, in January, prior to COVID-19, I got the opportunity to go to London um, and support the Quizlet London office. And while we're out there, we had to learn the difference between American English words 
and British English words. And so I have a study set right here with a sample of American English to British English. And I don't know if it's projecting super large. So I, um, I won't focus on that too much, but you can see right here on one side, it says biscuit. If you flip it, it says cookie, right? So in Britain, a biscuit is an American cookie. And so that's what you can help students practice learning. Um, candy floss in America or in Britain is cotton candy in America. And so you have 40 different cards to look at that. And that's what we're going to play Quizlet live with. So I'm going to click that. You'll click live right here on the side. And then you get the option to choose between teams or individuals. And since we're remote, I'm going to click individuals and just let everyone know attending. Um, we definitely can't get th thousands of teachers in on this game. So once I launch the code, I'm going to count down from like 10 to 15 seconds until enough players are in the game. And then I'm going to start. So if you um, don't get to play, I apologize, but um, you'll get to see the fun and exciting. So Chad, gonna I'm just going to jump in for one quick second, make sure everyone's got all the instructions right. So can you clarify where what length they'll go to and it looks like actually we have something in the chat as well and possibly even zoom in a little to make that uh, a bit bigger yeah so actually the link will pop up when i launch it so i haven't launched the game yet so oh. yeah so I'll, I'll so i'll go back and make that a little clearer for teachers so if you're going to launch quizlet live you pick a study set i picked the american to english words and right here, you can see the different study modes I had mentioned, flashcards, learn, write, spell, and test. And you can see the play, the games, match, gravity, and live. Only teachers can click live. Students won't see that. And so if this is the study set you want to you know, run a quiz at live game with your class, you'll go to that study set. You'll click live. It'll pop up to this screen. How would you like to play? And I'll zoom in a little bit more. Um, and you can choose between teams or individuals. So since we're remote, I'm gonna click individuals. And then from here, Marsha, you'll see music might play. So I'll have to pause that pretty quickly just because it, it'll be loud, but uh, you'll click individuals and then I'll choose how I want the prompt. Do I wanna go American English to British or do I wanna go British to American? I'm gonna go American to British and then there's the join code. And so, if you want to join, you can go to www.quizlet.live and then enter this code, 324966. Uh, or if you have the app, you would be able to scan this code. And so when students or members of this um, presentation join, I'll be able to see them pop up on the screen here. And then once we have enough teachers, I'll launch the game. So I see Alex, Bill John, I'm sorry if I didn't say that correctly. Um, Sam, I can see teachers joining. So I'll give it a few more seconds, Andrea, just so we can see what it looks like and everyone can see what Quizlet Live Brilliant. Like. And just, just while that's setting up, feel free to share in the chat where you're from, what you teach. We've got a lot of internationals here today. It's incredible. Albania, Argentina, Mexico. Uh, I miss many other countries. It's, it's, it's brilliant. Um, and again, for folks who are using Classtag or new to Classtag, this is a great resource, Quizlet, that you can save within Classtag under Quick Links. Quick Links are a section on the, that key page within Classtag where you can save resources that you're using frequently. Awesome. So we have 10 players. I'll give everyone 10 more seconds, and then we'll start. 10 players, 11. That's more than enough. So I'll just do 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, Five, four, three, <laughs> two, one. Okay, so we're gonna play with 14, 15 players, 16 players. So you can see before, if you were in class remotely, you can see the different team names and who's on that team. This is individual, so there's only one person per team. Otherwise, I'd have three to four students on one team. And the game will start in three, two, one. S sorry, that if there's an error that'll pop up. So on the teacher side right now, if you're playing on your phone or device, you're seeing the study set with the questions to answer. I'm seeing the competition, the different teams competing, who's getting it wrong or right. Um, and as you're doing this remotely, you can you know hype up your class. You can say, oh, the hedgehogs have three, sea dragons, oh, they're catching up with three, owls have two, 
camels and giraffes, you know, were starting and you can get everyone kind of hyped up. The trick of Quizlet Live though is the moment you get one wrong, you start all the way back at zero. And so there would be music playing right now. I muted it for this presentation, but you can see, right? We have the competition, the lynx and the mustangs, the owls, hedgehogs, and it'll keep going until everyone gets the first team to 12 gets it correct. And then it'll announce the winner. So you can see people are racing. 10, it looks like sea dragons and owls are pretty close. Hedgehogs, sea dragons are at 11. Okay, congratulations, Alex. So Alex won this round of Quiz It Live. And so at the end of that, you would be able to see you know, how your class performed, you know, who did well, who didn't do well, um, what sets need more reviewing, which terms, um, and students are usually super excited to keep on playing and want to continue to play. And so um, that was Quizlet Live individuals. And then uh, I wanted to share, save some time for questions and to chat through it, but also if you have any more questions on Quizlet, I shared those resources with everyone in this presentation, but I also want to point everyone to the Quizlet Help Center. If you have questions about Quizlet, your account, how to sign up, anything of that sort, you can go to help.quizlet.com. And so with that, um, I'll hand it over to Marsha and then, um, you know, stick around for some questions or uh, some conversation. Uh, we did have a question from Chad a little earlier, kind of like, could you um, explain the difference between a paid teacher account a little bit more and a free Quizlet account? Yeah, so let me go, um, I can share that other one. So sure. the main difference between the paid versus the non-paid is there's certain features that the paid account has. And so the the biggest value so far, uh, Quizlet Live, and no, I'm sorry, I just saw that Quizlet Live is on both paid and free. Um, but in the paid account, you can see class progress. And so you um, can see how well, you know, what your students are practicing, what study modes they're using, how much they're getting correct or incorrect. Um, and then you also get um, unlimited classes and folders. There's no cap on how many classes and folders you want to uh, create. Um, and there's a whole section on the Quizlet website in the Help Center that kind of explains that difference um, for which one you want to use. But Quizlet Live is available on both. Awesome, great. And um, out of curiosity myself, I know most of you know that I'm a, a former teacher. I use Quizlet, we talked about that a little bit before. Mm -hmm. um, you know, ClassTag has done quite a bit of integration with Google Classroom, and I know that you kind of mentioned it in passing while we before we talked, but would you like to expand on any of that or do you, are you guys connected to Google Classroom in any way? Yeah, so with Quizlet right now, um, I can't speak too much about things that are coming with Google Classroom and Quizlet, but I do know that right now I can share with you that if you create a set on Quizlet, you can easily instantly share it with your Google Classroom. So you'll create the set and then right away a module will pop up that says, add to Google Classroom and you can just click that and then it links directly into your Google Classroom. That's great. And for those of you, I dropped it in chat, but a friendly reminder, you guys can add tools like Quizlet. This is like the perfect tool to have in your quick links on ClassTag um, to make it easily accessible. And you know, I've used Quizlet, you can, there's, I mean, parents can even use that at home as like a study, students can use it as a study guide. They can create their own flashcards. Quizlet's great. And no, we agree with it. Oh, sorry, go ahead, Marcia. Yeah, Chet, can you clarify just for anyone who's joining late or maybe missed it at the beginning, what would be the minimum of time a teacher would need to really get set up on Quizlet and create something their students could actually use for the first time? Yeah, so I'm glad actually that you asked, Marcia. So once you sign up, um, you'll get an onboarding email series from Quizlet uh, that will share with you quick ways to start, how you should do it, and direct you through it. Um, I would say it takes a teacher maybe a week at most to set up. You'll join. Um, you'll kind of get the emails that guide you to create classes or to create study sets and how to use it. Uh, and then teachers kind of look at our resource center and play around with the different ideas. Our YouTube channel has, uh, you, you know, YouTube tutorials on what teachers can do with Quizlet and what other teachers are doing, um, as well as recordings that earlier in the summer we had our Quizlet Unconference, which was a free 
online PD virtual event for teachers, uh, and we do that yearly. We had uh, over about 15,000 teachers this summer attend, um, and you have presentations from teachers and Quizlet employees showing you ways to really use Quizlet in the classroom. So I would say it takes teachers about a week or two to get set up and then probably maybe another week to really master it. And that's why, uh, you know, we wanted to give all the teachers here three months of unlimited access to it so that they can play around the different features. And, you know, depending on their pedagogy and what they do, maybe teachers don't need the paid version and they can just use the free. Um, and so we wanted to give teachers enough time to uh, decide that. Yeah, and I, I, told, I told, I was telling you this, Chad, um, Quizlet has grown so much in features and different ways you can learn over the last couple of years that I've been teaching. So you guys probably have some really cool things on the roadmap. We're excited to see what you guys come up with. Yeah, and you know, there's a lot more exciting things to talk about that I can't talk about yet. But if you watch our, if you go to the Quizlet YouTube channel and you pull up the Young Conference videos, we have a panel with product managers uh, kind of talking about what's next for teachers and what's coming that way. That's great to hear. I love how Sam, Sam keeps try, trying to get in there and, and get you to reveal the secrets, but we're excited to see what, what's in the works. Um, yeah. Sam, any last questions for Chad there? No, I, we have some people who are super excited and loved playing, including myself, I did play. <laughs> and uh, we do have one quick question, um, just came up. Can is, uh, oh, we've got two. Um, can we use any pictures for students to select an answer? So that's not available yet. Got it. That's what I'll say there. So unfortunately, they can't use pictures as answers yet. Um, and then I'm also seeing like, you know, are there any activities for, for preschoolers, activities similar? Um, if teachers want to create study sets for that, that are, you know, for little kids help them learn letters with the audio recordings or images, that um, is definitely a possibility. Um, but nothing on Quizlet designated for that age group. Got it. Yeah, I, and I think that, and I do want to point the, our preschool teachers, letting them know that in the in the question there can be a picture, correct? Yeah, they just can't choose a picture as an answer. Right. Got it. Okay. And then and I also then, saw, sorry, Sam, I just saw another question pop up real quick. The the games, they're in the free versions as well. So like Gravity um, and Match. And you know, if we have time, I could show what that looks like really quickly. Is that possible? Yeah, sure. And uh, real quick, um, someone was saying, is there anything geared to special education? From what I understand, you can share, is this still true, Chad, that you can share your Quizlets with other teachers? Like you can pull some another teacher set maybe who might have something already prepared and make it easy on yourself almost. Yeah, and um, actually on that, let me pull up, I'll share that link in the chat box um, for teachers, is we had a presentation at our own conference all about accessibility I I see the um, for using Quizlet in the classroom. And then let me see if I know how to add the, that link in here. Um, oops, I did not. I think I just spoke to the customer support team on accident. Um, but, um, I will share that with Sam, but we have a whole, if you go onto our YouTube channel and you click search accessibility for students, Quizlet, it'll pop up. We have a whole presentation, 30 minutes, um, on using Quizlet for us in the special ed classroom. That's great. Yeah. And hopefully Brianna, that answers your question. And then, okay. So let me share. So I have the, uh, the help center um, now trying to chat with me on here. Uh, let me share that real quick so then uh, people can see the games just really quickly. Uh, can you see my screen? I can. Yep. Okay, I'll zoom in. Oh, that might be too much. Okay, so right here on the side are the different study modes. Um, and just to show you real quickly, you saw this um, study set, American English words. This is in the flashcards mode. If I wanted to learn it, it will now monitor my wrong or right answers. And so, um, you know, a trunk of a car, for example, what is that in British English? Let's say I don't know the answer. If I, cl if I clicked posh, it'll tell me the correct answer is boot. You said posh, what I said. And then it also tells you how many cards you have remaining, one card I'm familiar with, and zero that I've mastered. Um, and if you get it correct, obviously it tells you it's correct. Um, and then I'm sure teachers can guess, write mode and spell mode, you're, it's gonna give you an image or it'll say it to you and you have to write it out, spell, you have to spell it out. Um, 
And then test, you can see I demoed this and I failed it last time because I didn't really finish it. Um, so it showed me 50% last try. But um, if you wanted to test yourself, it gives you five written questions, right? So color, write that in the British version. It also gives you five matching questions. So matching this with the images on the side, five multiple choice questions so that I can practice learning it in that way, as well as five true false questions. And so if you submit that, it'll give you your answers and you'll get a report. Um, but the game side, just so everyone can see that really quickly, if you click match, it's gonna ruin my score with the, the team, but that's okay. So okay. make everything disappear, drag corresponding items onto each other and make them disappear. So you click that and then you'll just get this large display here. You'll see the time on the side and you wanna do it as fast as possible for the leadership board. And when teachers assign this set to a class, they can have their students, you know, whoever has the fastest time or the top three fastest times. And so if you make it disappear, you just match them, they disappear. If it's wrong, it just, it turns red and it pushes it away and it won't work. So that's what match looks like available free. And then likewise, gravity, just as a little demo, um, is like I said, protect the planet from incoming asteroids. You know, sure, let's make it easy. This is how fast the asteroids answers fall. You'll say, let's go, watch out for red asteroids. If you miss them twice, they'll destroy your planet. And then you'll pretty much just see posh, right? Type in your answer. You'll destroy the asteroid. If you don't, it'll hit the Earth, and um, then you lost. So I've started on this with my students, by the way. <laughs> for those of you that teach, you know, any grade, this 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 is great for any grade because you can really gear it to the students and what how they learn. They can actually, you know, pick some of the ways they want to learn too. It's very helpful. Awesome. So yeah, so that's um that's what I have. I hope that was you know informative for all the teachers attending and. Um, I'm sure if they have any other questions, if you reach out to Sam or Marshall, they can reach out to me. And I hope that all of you enjoy that, uh, you know, three month promo of Quizlet and have a good fall semester. Yep, absolutely. Thanks so much. We'll definitely monitor the chat for the next 24 hours. So if there's any questions in there, feel free to feel free to throw them in there and we will get to them or let Chad know to to get to them. And thanks again for for joining us and helping out our teachers. Thanks, Sam, for everything as well. Of course, thank you too for having me here. And, you know, thank you teachers for uh, teaching in this fall. I, I can't even imagine. Guys, have a great evening and we will talk to you soon. <laughs>